Hello everyone, this is Anubhuti from Sensitive.com. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Anubhuti and I like to uh, talk about makeup, beauty, skincare, products, basically whatever I use myself, I like to share my views on it. And also I am very passionate about getting use out of my makeup collection. Um, and uh, if that's something you're interested in, please make sure to subscribe uh, and I will love to have you in my family. Um, so basically in my makeup collection has been growing for past years and then due to covid i could not get use out of my makeup collection so i have been exploring the project planning ideas just to force myself to use my makeup products and get ready myself uh, so just in order to get use out of my makeup collection so if that is something also you are interested in please uh, make sure to subscribe but before i start rambling just jump into the video so as you see from the title, I am going to start another project plan. I'm pretty excited about it. I have been consuming a lot of project planning content on YouTube of late and some of the some of my many, many favorite YouTubers um, who do the project plan content uh, do so many exciting projects and they all seem tempting, but I have to um, make sure that I want, I do not want to start a project plan just for the sake of starting it. I still am tempted to because then when you have a project plan, you see other people getting used out of their makeup collection, you're also uh, motivated to use your collection more. Um, and also it sounds interesting because just to, it makes the whole uh, reusing your makeup collection more fun and exciting and uh, not running after the new releases one after the other. So yeah. I am again uh, <laughs> rambling at this point. So I have decided to start this project level up, uh, project pen, which is created by the gorgeous uh, Sophie Alexandra. I will link her channel uh, and her introduction video down in the description box below. There is also a community uh, playlist for this project, which Sophie has created, uh, that I will also link that community playlist in the description box below, where you can see all the, for all the creators uh, who, do this project pen you can also see their uh, videos their progress uh, about this project so if you don't know what project level up is i will give you a little bit brief intro um, about this project so basically there uh, the project has uh, five levels so level one two three four five uh, for each level you randomize uh, an eyeshadow palette uh, for your uh, from your eyeshadow collection and then you assign usage goal and a panning goal to it so uh, in Sophie's original video she men mentions that for level one for example you pick one palette uh, you randomize one palette you use every shade one time and also hit one pan uh, once you have achieved that goal you uh, roll that pro palette out of your uh, project and then you move to next level uh, level two and for level two you again randomize one eyeshadow palette you use every shade two times and also try to uh, hit uh, two pans in the palette you can uh, select two focus shadows to hit pan on um, the two focus shadows can be of your choice uh, so then um, this way you do level one once you complete level one you move to level two and then level three once you complete level three you move to level four and up to five and then once you are at level five, which means you have to use every shade five times and hit five pans in the palette. Once you have completed that, you you can reset the project. Um, so these are her rules. And she also mentioned that she had a rule for herself that she can she allows her five vetoes. Basically, she you can, uh, which means five re rolls. So. Um, for example, if she mentioned that if she rolls any palette that has already been in the project uh, before and uh, she does not want it, she's allowed to re-roll. Or if it, there is a palette that is not season appropriate or maybe not uh, her vibe at the moment, then she is allowed to re-roll. I find butchering it. I'm sorry, Sophie, but I will link her introduction video uh, in the description box below again. But so now here's the catch. I can't follow this project as is because for me it takes forever to hit pan on an eyeshadow uh, shade. I I'm not sure I'm pretty heavy handed with, when it comes to writing. I'm like just my letter imprints can be seen on after two pages. So I'm pretty heavy handed but I don't know what is it about like the eyeshadows that 
I'm very light handed so it takes me forever to hit pan on any eyeshadows and I have tried it like I have used one eyeshadow consistently for a year and I did not hit any pan. I know it's very hard for me to hit a pan um, so then I, I, I reached out to Sophie and I asked her that I can uh, can I um, also modify the project a little bit because she's such a sweetheart so then she told me yes it is possible to do it you can uh, try to keep the soul of the project so it still stick to the levels but you can assign the focus uh, shade goals for yourself so for example you can use one focus shade 10 times or two f when you move to level two you can decide two focus shades and use them 10 times or five times or whatever is your goal she also asked me to check out Ruth's video, Ruth Foley's video. Uh, she has an, done introduction for Project Level Up Light. Uh, so then I did check her uh, channel also out. I will also link Ruth's video. Uh, so basically what Ruth did is just one focus shade for five, six, seven, eight, nine times. Something like that. So then after a lot, lot of thought, a lot of thinking, I came to the conclusion that I want to follow what Sophia suggested. Uh, if I want to follow the like light version, I also saw Chick Geek doing the same. So what I'm going to do is for level one, I'm going to do use every uh, shadow one time, like Sophie suggested, and one focus shade ten times. For level two, I'm going to select an eyeshadow palette and I'm going to use every shade two times and two focus shades ten times, it's ten times each. So and then so far. So and so on. So for, for level five, I will have to use each shade in an eyeshadow palette five times, and there will be five focus shade, uh, which I will have to use ten times each. I hope this makes sense, <laughs> and I'm just not sounding um, absolutely ridiculous. Let's revise. So what I'm going to do? I'm going to just randomize one palette for level one today, and we are going to use every shade one time, and we are going to also um, decide one focus shade that I will be using for 10 times. I will again link every uh, thing possible, Sophie's uh, channel, Sophie's video, introduction video, Sophie's uh, community playlist and also Ruth Foley's um, intro video in the description box below. Please make sure to, uh, to check them out. Because I shoot my videos on my phone, uh, I have what I have done is I have already uh, selected my randomized palette from my Tiny Decisions app. Uh, and I have uh, screen recorded it. So I'm going to put that recording here and uh, we can see which palette I selected. So for level one, here is my randomized eyeshadow palette. So we rolled in Pet McGrath Labs Blitz Astral Quad in Ritualistic Rose. And I'm super excited because uh, it's kind of um, panning gods out with me. So it's kind of an easy start for me. Hopefully, hopefully it's an easy start for me. And I'm super happy that a quad got rolled in for the level one. So it can give me a little bit confidence um, and also a little bit motivation that yes, I can do it. Um, so this is actually, I got it as a freebie with my Pat McGrath order. Um, uh, I think in her holiday sale. So this came as a free gift with purchase uh, when I purchased her uh, Mothership palettes. So let's open it. It's not been used. I am guilty as charged. I am someone who literally saves her makeup for special occasions and I don't want to do that anymore. That is one of the, that is one more reason I have started uh, doing this randomized uh, palette uh, ideas because I do want to get use out of my makeup collection as much as possible and not to save it for special occasions so let's open the court and again i'm <laughs> going off the track so let's open the court together this is absolutely brand new so you can see i still have the plastic on it uh, so this is what the palette looks like so these are all four um blitz at astral uh, shades which is her one of her favorite most talked about formulas which is what she's famous for so basically pat mcgrath uh, has this Blitz Astral uh, shade shades which are baked uh, which is her baked formula and these are special shades and she came out with uh, the quad 
um, I think three, four years ago, um, when she came out with quads containing all the blitz astral shades in them. Uh, in her bigger mothership palettes, there are, I think, four special shades most of the time, and two of them used to be blitz astral shades. And I think there are different formulas uh, in her category. I'm still new to her formulas, so I don't remember them by heart. But uh, yeah, Blitz Astral is definitely one of her most loved formulas. And if you remember, I did a video about the uh, Lakme 9 to 5 uh, quad in, sh in shades Desert Rose. And these are kind of shades that were part of that. So then I, I know I love this color story. So that's why I have decided to keep it. Um, but then... Yeah, I'm pretty excited. I think I can uh, easily get use out of this um, palette. I will. I think I can use this more than once. So for us, the challenge is which shade I am going to pick as a um, focus shade. Also want to swatch it first before deciding which shade I want to make my focus shade. So these are like the first four shades this kind of a greeny gold this is a pink to golden duochrome this one is also pink purple pink shimmer and this is like classic bronze okay i think um i'm gonna make this duochrome as my focus shade this pinky pink to golden duochrome as my focus shade because i think i can get use out of it in multiple ways i can use it also in the inner corner and all over the lid uh let's make it a goal so i'm going to use every shade one time and then this is going to be my focus shade that i will be using uh 10 times antique gold Astral Rose Orchid, Rose Quartz, and Beyond Bronze. These are the shade names from this palette. Um, there is no mention of shade names on the packaging itself. So I have to refer the outer box packaging. It has the shade names on it. So then the Astral Rose Orchid is going to be our focus shade. Okay, so that is it for today. Um, that is going to be my project level uh, up level one. Um, and then I will try to keep you updated every month. Uh, how the progress is going, if I hit my goal or anything, etc, etc. I will be trying to uh, do one update each month. Uh, it will be mostly in the start of the month. Uh, and I will be, try to keep it as consistent as possible. Um, and uh, yeah, this is it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel uh, for more product reviews and interesting content. You can also follow me on Instagram and also check out my blog. Everything will be linked down in the description box below. And um, uh, wherever you are, have a good day, good night, and uh, see you next time. Bye-bye.